Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. This is week six of Mike and Henna's picks for the NFL. Um, it's an exciting week. Um, it's our hometown, Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. How bigger can you get? I just wish they would have played the game a little... Um, Earlier in the day, because 8.30 at night ain't good for nobody. Yeah, because I go to Because we both go to bed at 8.30, because 3 o'clock in the morning rolls around real quick. But anyway, you can't really see our board that well, so I'm going to turn the camera around. You know what? I'll do it this way. Let's see if we can turn this camera around. There we go. Okay, first we have, of course, the Philly versus Cowboys. Of course, we want Philadelphia. For Bills and and uh, oh, Chiefs, we want the Bills. We want Pittsburgh over Tampa Bay. Green Bay over Jets. And Baltimore over Cayman. Um, well, there you have it. Uh, if you didn't hear that, because my daughter doesn't speak loudly at times, we have the Eagles over the Cowboys. We have the Bills over Kansas City. We have Pittsburgh over Tampa Bay. We have Green Bay over the Jets. We have Baltimore over... Uh, the Giants. Um, so, I guess there's really no talking points of any of these games, but the Philadelphia-Dallas game, I will say this. Um, both teams have great uh, defenses. Uh, the Dallas defense is just a tick above Philadelphia. Um the Philadelphia offense is obviously better than the Dallas offense. Um, and Cooper Rush, the backup quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, he's basically a game manager. Basically, they threw him in there and said, look, don't mess the game up. Don't turn the ball over. You know, basically just hand the ball off to your running back and that's it. Um, I have a feeling that, because see, the Cowboys with Cooper Rush have not scored over 20 points. If, say, the Eagles are up, say, 21 to nothing or, you know, more than 21 points or more than 20, say, they're up 35 points, can the Cowboys get to that, you know... That that thirty five or forty mark to win with Cooper Rush, absolutely not. Um. So, basically, in a nutshell, if the Philadelphia offense scores more than twenty points, they will win. So, um, I'm hoping they win because I have a bet going with a friend at work. If the Cowboys win, unfortunately, I have to wear um, my Dallas Cowboys hat that I have for the collection to complete, obviously, the 32-team collection. Uh, and my buddy, if he keeps his promises, he has to wear a Philadelphia Eagles hat, and he's not an Eagles fan, so... I just hope he actually has an Eagles hat without actually stealing it. That's a joke. Um, and uh, obviously I'm wearing my new uh, Tennessee Titans uh, 100th anniversary hat today. Which I fe featured in my last video that I did last week that I just physically downloaded an 
hour before I'm before I'm making this video because I have a habit of not downloading videos right away because um, I really don't have the time to sit here and download them and wait during the week um, and behind me which you can't see right now I got about four packages to unbox um, Let's do at least one of them right now. Hannah, grab me that, um, grab me the box. Okay, can I move this out the way? Yeah, you, let's move this board out of the way, so, and we're going to keep those, um, games up on the board until tomorrow. Let's see, we got, it's like Christmas all over again. It's Christmas to me. Okay. Just to let you know, he sometimes comes here. Okay. Now let's see what. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I actually like this one. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It is a Chicago Bears. Salute the troops hoodie, uh, hoodie, uh, hat, uh, if you could tell the darkness, it, there's, um, it actually says, um, bears, and there's some kind of date on, in this, uh, ribbon right here, which I can't tell right now, and I'm sure we can't tell on camera. 1928. Oh, okay. Uh, I have better vision than him. Really? Okay. So we got that and the features. Obviously on the back it has the ribbon. And on the side it has the American flag. And on the bottom of the bill or hat it has this camouflage. Um, design and of course if you're familiar with my channel it is a fit it and size 7 I got this from the fanatics website so that's pretty cool yeah that is cool um, I actually didn't expect that one. I actually forgot that I bought that one um, no oh, one. hand me another package Hannah now, honestly, folks, I don't know what these, um... Uh, because of how they're packaged, uh, I think they're hoodies. I know they're hoodies, just like my daughter said and interrupted. Sorry. But I don't know exactly what hoodies they are. That's my point. Uh. Okay, I don't... Oh! Oh! It's this one. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, I didn't expect this. This is not a sports hoodie. But... Oh. <laughs> I know what it is. But I actually had to buy it because it's just... I guess it's funky enough. <laughs> it is a Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, what the... Hoodie, uh, let me guess, you want to be Michelangelo? It's Michelangelo, it has <laughs> uh, the shell and weapon type design on the back, and on the hoodie, Hood part. it actually has the mask. Oh, that's how you can tell it's Michelangelo. Well, you could tell it's Michelangelo by the color because Michelangelo is orange. Uh, I actually bought this off of eBay, uh, used, so I'm not sure, it looks like it's gonna fit, so we'll, uh, figure that out, uh, later today, so we have that, this one's kind of thick, so I'm not sure which one this is.
sometimes you gotta be careful how you unbag things if you use scissors, which I don't like using scissors when it comes to unbagging hoodies because the last time I used scissors when I unbagged the hoodie or a t-shirt, I actually cut into the t-shirt through the bag. Oh no. And there was a big hole in it in the hoodie. Okay, if this one is which one I think it is, it is I'm gonna say the Indianapolis Colts. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it is the Oh yeah, it is. Indianapolis Colts. Again, I bought this one off of Ooh, eBay. It, it also smells like the Seahawks. Uh I got this one off of eBay used and it is a um I believe it's a 2X. Because I've been trying to get hoodies either extra large or bigger because a lot of the time the hoodies I buy, even when I get an extra large, they, they're they still too tight in the arms. And I understand when you buy, you know, hoodies or t-shirts or even jerseys, the extra large or double extra large counts lengthwise, not arm wise so that's why I don't like certain hoodies or certain cuts of hoodies because I like to roll my sleeves up and I want to have that option if I want so that's why I kind of buy hoodies a little big so I know I'm guaranteed to be able to roll them up okay. so there's that one mm. so we got that going Oh, that's because of that. Um, and one more. This one doesn't, is it, this one is not as thick as a hoodie. So I think I know what this is. Let me Maybe check. Maybe it's a shirt. Let me check where this one's coming from. Okay, it doesn't say exactly where, what company it's coming from. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, obviously I gotta open it, right folks? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Uh I I can tell which one this is. This is from uh the Fanatics website where I get my hats. And I actually had to... Uh, I got the hoodie from with this. I got a, a jacket from this team and a couple of hats. But I actually had to just buy this um, t-shirt because I wanted a long sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> um, of course. This way, this way I Isn't can, <laughs> you know, this way I can actually put a hoodie underneath it so I can have a makeshift hoodie jacket and it is the Jaguars. It is a long sleeve t-shirt. It's pretty funny how they call it something with long sleeves a t-shirt, right? It, it, if it has long sleeves, it's not a t-shirt. <laughs> Sure. Anyway, it's kind of thick as a hoodie, but not really. I, I really like it. I don't. I don't like how it's like stiff. The uh, um, the logo is a little stiffer than the uh, you know, it has that scratchy feeling to it, which is fine. But I'm glad I opened it when I did because it kind of, the logo kind of folded and bent. And if you're familiar with, I'm familiar with a lot of um, hockey YouTubers 
and they with hockey jerseys it's almost like a hockey jersey type um material where if it's folded too long it kind of gets ruined and there's a permanent fold in the um logo so it's always good to uh take these out and unbag them right away maybe i can maybe wear it once or twice to kind of keep it from getting stiff or maybe put something heavy on top of the um print or logo to flatten it a little bit so <laughs> bless you hannah Thank you. well with that said folks this is our video for week six of the nfl and i hope you enjoyed our picks wish us luck and my unboxings and uh Go birds, go Philadelphia, go no, Eagles. Go Eagles. No, don't wear that that Dallas hat. No. We don't want to wear that Dallas hat tomorrow, so just hope we keep an eye on that score because. <laughs> okay, because there's a bet, I I need to watch that game. Well, you're not going to. <laughs> so with that said, we will catch you in the next one. Next week. Bye-bye.